It's time for another session debrief. Hey there, Dan Candell, your anxiety relief guy. I specialize in helping people overcome anxiety so they can have more breakthroughs instead of breakdowns. And I do that by using a modernized version of hypnosis that I call my subconscious sync method. And what it does, it helps communicate directly to the subconscious mind and it also rewires the nervous system as well. And I like to, after I have sessions with people, I like to just turn my camera on, do a little debrief because it helps give you more insight into the process to see if this process is right for you. And also you can just get some ideas of how to start transforming your life too. So let's get started. A few weeks ago, a former client reached out to me and he said, Dan, I worked with you about three years ago and you literally changed my life. And he said, I know you probably hear this all the time, but it, it really did change my world. And he said, the company I work for, they offer personal and professional development programs or funding them. And he's like, I wonder if I can come in and have my company fund some sessions with you. And I'm like, yeah, come back on in. I loved working with you. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing some work together. And I asked him, I said, what do you want to work on specifically? He's like, more confidence, more assertiveness, um, just taking more action and also just having better relationships with people. I'm like, got it. And whenever I work with entrepreneurs, executives, sales professionals, um, CEOs, leaders, innovators, content creators, influencers, I usually work on five different principles. And again, it's all flexible. It all depends on what the person wants to accomplish, but these are deep inner work principles. And number one is all about discovery. It's all about discovering your five core values, getting insight deep into yourself, um, why you have certain problems and how we can overcome them. And then I get into what I call the core four. And the core four is embracing the principles of acceptance, trust, patience, and release and letting go. Results of this can be outstanding because people reach deep within themselves, they pull out their strengths, they become more confident, they overcome self-doubt, they no longer question themselves, they no longer worry about things because they're embracing that deep part of who they are. Now this isn't just a subconscious process using my subconscious sync method, it also works with the nervous system as well. So I do a lot of nervous system stimulation stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system to clear the underlying emotional core of some of the issues that people feel like they have. So the first session I worked with this person, we did a core value session where he had great insight into where his core values were being fulfilled and where they weren't and also what his core values were. And I sent him a core values profile after the session and he sent me a message back saying like this is me like you hit the nail right on the head like you it's almost like you've known me for years and like you you pulled information out of me that i didn't even know was in there and i'm trained to do this in a way where it's a discovery process that gains you it gives you deep insight into yourself the reason why we want to do this is because people are so stressed depressed and overwhelmed because they're living out of alignment of their core values. And also, not only are they living out of alignment, but they're living in states of constant resistance. And that's no bueno. So we wanna get that on track. So that's step one. And then he came back for the second session. He's like, Dan, even though all we did was just discover my core values and, and look at some ways into how we can start incorporating those core values and living in my life in more fulfillment and alignment, he said, I noticed a change where like I wasn't worrying about things as much anymore. I, I wasn't perseverating on things as much anymore. I said, great. I said, now, what do you want to work on? And he said, I want to work on more confidence, assertiveness, self-assurance. I'm like, perfect. So that's where we got into the principle of acceptance. Now, a lot of people think acceptance is all about self-acceptance, accepting yourself and the person that I am and like saying, I am enough, I'm worthy. That is part of acceptance, but it's not acceptance in its entirety. Practicing acceptance allows you to look at things that have happened in your life in a way that's non-judgmental, non-critical. And by accepting it happened in your life, it doesn't mean you want it to happen again. It doesn't mean you want it to happen to others. It just means that you agree something happened in your life and you also agree that it doesn't have to keep you trapped in victimhood. So as we were going through the process of acceptance, the other portion that we worked on in the session was really embracing confidence. Now, if I said to this person, you're gonna be more confident, you're gonna be more assertive, 
he might know what that means, but chances are there's going to be some resistance. The reason why people aren't more confident is because their perception of what confidence is based on what we've seen, experienced, or been taught about confidence. Many people see confidence as arrogance, cockiness, like you don't care about other people, lack of self-awareness. And that's not what confidence is at all. It's actually the exact opposite. So the first thing I do is I, I ask my clients who say they want to be more confident. I say, okay, let's say that you're, you're following somebody around and you're their shadow and you are seeing things that indicate confidence in them like you want to be confident. What are some of those things that you're noticing? And it is not for me to push my confident agenda on other people. I can insert some ideas and some guidance, but I want it to come from them. And this particular person said, well, number one is like openness, like open body posture, more animated, um, looking at people in the eye, uh, using their name more, um, being a little bit more outspoken. And then he said something really surprising and I'm glad he said it. And he said, and also vulnerability, like being okay to be real with people and not fake it till you make it. And I'm like, I love that <laughs> because that's so true. Confident people are vulnerable. And one of the reasons why people have performance anxiety or presentation anxiety, or one of the reasons why people doubt themselves when they get on the phone with people, or if they have like sales anxiety, one of the reasons is because what I found, this is what I found out after working with thousands of people who've had performance anxiety, is that the reason why there's some of that performance anxiety that's there or presentation anxiety is because they're afraid of being found out. They're afraid of being found out that they get nervous from time to time, that they're human, they're real people. And what happens if they take off the mask, then people are going to see them for who they really are. But that's how we connect with people. We connect through being genuine. And most of the people who are arrogant, cocky, they lack confidence and they're constantly wearing this mask. That's why when I work with people, I'm very open to them about some of the challenge I've experienced in my life as well. And also not just the challenges, but also how I overcame them. So that way I can guide them through some of the same processes. So this person identified exactly what confidence meant to him. And I said, great, now let's go with the opposite of confidence. You're following somebody else around. You are now their shadow. And there's somebody out in front of you that you see they're not confident. They think they're confident, but in, in actuality, they're cocky, they're arrogant, and they're dickheads. So I said, how do you know? And he went into this, like, this, this perfect description of, like, they're lying to people. They have no self-awareness. They don't care what other people think. Um, they are deliberately doing things that might upset people. Um, and they're, they're trying to like put on, put on a show for other people. That's exactly what cockiness and arrogance is, right? When you are trying to mask something and you are putting on a show for other people so that nobody can ever see who you really are. And what a lonely place to be. What, what a lonely place to be where you constantly put on this mask. You're constantly a chameleon and you don't have a freaking backbone. So you have to fake it so much. So we had this conversation and it was really important for me to drive home. Like arrogance is not confidence. Confidence is actually the opposite of what a lot of people think it is. And how do you know when you'll feel it? How do you know when you'll experience it? So I asked him all these questions and then I used a very powerful form of my subconscious sync method, my subconscious synchronization method of hypnosis, which is a very different style of hypnosis than what people are, are maybe accustomed to. And no, it has nothing to do with waving a pocket watch back and forth. <laughs> so I used my, my method of the subconscious sync method of hypnosis. And as I'm, as I'm going through the session with him and we're taking out all of those painful experiences and we're putting them down in front of him and he's dealing with them and he's changing them and he's reorganizing them and re-optimizing them in his mind. I also said to him, I said, now because of this, you have more space available in your life, your mind, and your body to embrace your definition of what, tr what confidence truly is for you. And we went through that part of the session, took about a half hour or so. And I, I like people to realize that when they do sessions, 
they're going to get pretty instant results. So at the end of the session, this guy says to me, he's like, oh my God. I said, what? He said, I noticed such a drastic difference in how I feel, how I'm looking at things. And by the way, when he was talking to me, at first when he was talking to me, he was like this, he crossed his arms, he put his, he, he put his arms, um, his hands over his arms. He was very like inward posture. He was leaning forward a lot. He was rocking a little bit like this as he was talking to me before the session. But at the end of the session, he's like, dude, and he was so much more expressive. He used open body posture. He was sitting differently because our mind body has a connection. Our body's connected to our mind, our, our uh, mind is connected to our body. And he, he was using like open expressive body posture and you, he just exuded this confidence and he exuded this expression that he didn't before. And he started to get a little teary eyed. And I said, what's going on? Tell me about it. He said, well, I, I feel comfortable actually showing my emotions because it's real and it's raw. And he said, I'm not saying like I have to cry every time I talk to somebody to show them I'm confident. He said, but this is what I feel is the right thing to do with you right now. And I said, that's right. And I said, so now how can this change and transform as you go into your professional world where you don't have to cry, but you can still convey a message that you're being vulnerable, open and honest. And we talked about that for a little while. So these are our rapid changes that we can make using these protocols and principles of modernized versions of hypnosis, of stimulating the nervous system, because there are ways that I work with people that um, cancel out the underlying emotional core of issues. When we can literally like pull painful experiences out of our mind, look at them objectively without judgment, without criticizing them and say, yeah, shit, this happened but it doesn't have to define who I am and to grow from it, to really grow from it. So th this, is, this is power, right? And knowledge is power, but action is even more powerful. And this is the type of work that is so transformational to people. And it's also work I've done myself. And sometimes I still do with myself. And, and sometimes I reach out to other people who are colleagues of mine that I let do this with me as well. So that way I'm not always directing myself with it. So it's so important that if you do need help with this, that you find somebody who has a proven track record of, of doing the work that you want to do. Uh, so if you are serious about doing this work, from time to time I have cohorts, from time to time I have openings in my groups uh, that I do in my high level executive groups. The best thing to do all you really have to do is just clink the clink is clink clink the lick below this video. No, no, click the link <laughs> below or around this video, and it's going to bring you to a page um, that will show you what openings I have, so that way we can uh, start to strategize about doing some of your own deep inner work, so you can be more confident. So we can tap into your subconscious mind so that way you're not as freaked out about things. So you just embrace that strength that you have within you. With that said, my friends, I look forward to hopefully seeing you in one of my programs soon. As always, be well, do good, be true to who you are, and happy healing. Thanks for joining me on the Anxiety Relief Revolution. Make sure you follow me on TikTok at Anxiety Relief Guy and on Instagram at Dan Candell. If you watch this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, comment, and hit that like button. If you're listening to this on your favorite podcast app, make sure you subscribe and leave a five-star review. It helps me help you and help more people. And as always, be well, do good, and be true to who you are.